Oh, sorry. I think I shared the wrong screen. Give me one minute here. Okay. Are you able to see the presentation? Yes. Okay, great. Hi, everyone. My name is Patrick Donato. Um, I am one of the, the Penn State team leads for our NEBP team. Uh, we are partnered with Lincoln University, and today I will be talking about uh, mission success through collaboration. A brief overview of NEBP from a very high level, uh, the project objectives include conducting atmospheric research during a solar eclipse, as well as educating uh, others on atmospheric ballooning research methods. Uh, for the engineering team, the engineering team objectives are assembling the, the research payloads provided to us, as well as designing a team-specific payload based on a proposed research question. Um, a little bit about our team. As I said, it's a collaboration between Lincoln University and Penn State University. Uh, our team had no prior ballooning experience, and we relied heavily on collaboration with other groups to achieve our goals. Uh, early on, we had joint meetings, and this was to make sure we were on the same page about our uh, design requirements, and we had to make sure our payload weight was under the weight limit once we combined our payloads. Um, we also had a variety of engineering majors, including aerospace, mechanical, electrical, and software engineering. And sharing knowledge was key for the mission success among these groups to make sure that everyone uh, had a good overall knowledge of what we were doing. But in addition, we collaborated with uh, Penn State's 3D Printing Club. Uh, personally, we lacked the ability to make the quality 3D printed parts that we needed for our venting system. So we outsourced this to a group we knew would be proficient in making 3D printed parts. Moving on to launch preparation. Um, we we had a partnership with uh, the University of New Mexico, and this was key for our success. Uh, we worked with Dr. David Dunlop of the UNM Physics Department. He was a guide for the campus, the area, and helped us scout out a launch location. Um, they also provide us with a workspace that's shown in the picture. Uh, it was extremely helpful for eclipse prep, path prediction, uh, launch day planning. We were able to troubleshoot our venting system there, which was uh, extremely helpful to have that area where we could um, work through it. And we also it also served as a storage area. We were able to store our launch equipment and uh, our launch tools there. They also provided us with housing, which was extremely kind of them. Uh, that saved us money on, uh, on housing that we could use for other resources. That brings us to launch day. Um, one of NEPP's objectives is outreach. And this would not have been possible without our partnership with UNM. Uh, they put on a massive outreach event for us. There was hundreds of people there. We were able to take part in it, and we were able to educate people on our project and our purpose. Um, they also provide us with a ton of equipment for it. Uh, they gave us a tent to run our outreach and ground station from. They gave us um, a TV where we could broadcast our stream, an internet hotspot for our ground station, as well as extension cords and power. They also gave us an area to launch. Um, so we were able to launch in the middle of the event and this further helped with our outreach efforts and we were able to reach more people. Uh, finally, for our, our balloon retrieval, uh, the payloads landed over 130 miles away on a private ranch. Uh, in order to retrieve the payloads, we had to contact the ranch owner. And after a discussion with him, we, were, uh, we explained our purpose and then he offered to take us to the landing location and retrieve the payloads. And even though this seems like a small thing, um, without the assistance of the ranch owner, uh, our mission could have been delayed or it could have failed. So it was extremely important that we were able to get this done. Uh, so overall, we found that effective collaboration on all levels greatly improved the chances for our, our, success, our mission to be successful. Uh, on a group level, it was sharing knowledge among the team. On a team level, it was our collaboration between Penn State University and Lincoln University. And then on an organizational level, we were able to uh, collaborate with the uh, UNM, and all of these things were key to our mission succeeding. So, yeah, that, that is all. So, thank you. Okay, thank you, Patrick. And that concludes the second lightning talk session.